Welcome to the 2021 school year. I'm Josh Roberts, I'm the principal at Hawkinson Heights Elementary. As a reminder, if you haven't watched Mr. Marshall's video address, please be sure to watch that before continuing with this video. As with most of you, online school wasn't my first choice. Of course, staff and I would rather be here with the kids in the building because we care about each of them. But here we are. We're going to make the best of remote learning and do everything this, to make this school year a wonderful school year. Our goal is to make the school year even better than last year. To do that, we're offering two options. This allows children to choose, or parents to choose the best option for their children. You can choose either Hawkinson Academy, which is a self-paced independent learning platform, or remote learning through Hawkinson School District. I'll be describing what remote learning will look like at the elementary school this year. Remote learning gives students the classroom experience at home. Students will interact with their teacher daily and will experience familiar classroom routines, such as class meetings and number talks. Here's a schedule for a typical student day. At 7.45 to 8 o'clock, um, teachers would have the opportunity to check in with students if needed, um, maybe call parents and have, you know, some check-ins and discussions. At 8 o'clock would be the morning meeting every single day, Monday through Friday. And that would be a meeting where um, teachers would check in with students and they would talk about social emotional learning needs. They would go over the schedule for the day. They would answer any questions students might have. At 825, they would have a number talk with their teacher. And this is a math routine that they normally do in class. Then from 855 to 950, they would have math with their teacher. Um, all of this would be online through Zoom. At 9.50 to 10 o'clock, there would be a brain break where students could go outside, they could stretch, they could eat, there could be anything they need, need to do to get, you know, recharged for the next learning. Then at 10 o'clock, there would be um, reading with their teacher. And then again, it would be online with Zoom, another brain break, and then 11.15 would be writing with their teacher, again on Zoom. From 12 to 12.30 would be lunch, and then um, at 12 to, 12 to 2 o'clock, students would have specialists. They would either go to art, music, or PE three times a week, and during that time, that would be a Zoom meeting with their art, music, or PE teacher. The rest of the time, or the rest of this time would be used for asynchronous learning, which is learning um, by watching videos or independent learning, such as homework. There would also be interventions um, like high caps and special ed or check-ins from their teacher. Uh, the teachers would be calling or emailing or, or using some type of text response with students. This would be the schedule for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, they would still have a class meeting except for math, reading, and writing would be recorded videos that students could watch whenever they wanted to. And then there would be some science and social studies um, offered, either in person or recorded. So this is a, that is the schedule for a typical day in elementary school. <clears throat> so as you can see, it'll be a bit different from the end of last year. Another change from the end of last year is that students were required to attend school each day, and attendance will be taken by their teacher probably during the morning meeting. Teachers will also be assigning grades to each subject area for students for, um, based on their work completed and turned in. I know that remote learning may be a challenge for many students, so we have a variety of supports for students and families. Counselors will be available to speak with children. Wi-Fi will be available for families without internet connectivity. Academic interventions will be provided by our support staff, including small group reading and math support. ELL services, special ed services, and HICAP. A major focus of remote learning this year is communication with the teachers to students and families. Teachers will be reaching out to students to individually support them with schoolwork and other needs multiple times a week. Also, we'll have multiple methods parents can use to contact their child's teacher, including email, <clears throat> phone, and messaging. Kindergarten will have a bit of a different start this year. Kindergarten instruction will begin on Tuesday, September 8th for the first three days of school that everyone else's grades first through fifth. 
kindergarten teachers will be meeting with families to get to their students and get to know students' strengths and challenges. Back to school night will be held virtually at the end of August. More information will be sent out um, about back to school night very soon. I know that teachers are eager to meet their new students. We are still hard at work placing each student into classes. More information will be sent home soon about your child's class assignment. If you have questions about what I've talked about in this video, please email me. My email is joshua.robertson at hawksd.org. Um, remember, there is a um, district survey that's being sent home, so please complete that by this Friday. We know this isn't ideal for everyone, but we're going to make the best of this and make sure that students are learning and having fun as well. Thank you.